The Watchmen is considered one of the greatest graphic novels ever created, and I agree with that. But the problem with putting it on our channel is the pacing is very slow. There is a lot of dialogue and a lot of things happening. And we honestly just can't cover a book that old and make it make sense or do it justice. So instead of giving you a half attempted version at it, we're gonna bring you the synopsis of what happened in The Watchmen so that you understand what happened in the graphic novel and you can go out and buy Doomsday Clock which is considered the sequel to Watchmen and fully understand what is going on with Dr. Manhattan, Superman, and Batman. I hope you guys enjoy. <sighs> the year is 1985. The heroes are gone and the earth is a different place. Edward Blake is dead. With the police having no leads, the costume vigilante known as Rorschach begins his own investigation. Uncompromising after costume heroes were outlawed in 1977, Rorschach refused to put away the mask, fighting his one-man war from the shadows. While investigating Edward Blake's apartment, he discovers that he was secretly the comedian, one of the last active superheroes under the employ of the United States government. Rorschach's paranoia tells him that this is a plot to murder costumed heroes and take them out of the way of some bigger plot. Rorschach then moves through the world, warning his former compatriots, a Night Owl, Dr. Manhattan, Silk Spectre, and Ozymandias. Dr. Manhattan, truly the world's only superhero, formerly John Osterman, who was caught in an accident in 1959, which caused him to gain power over matter. As time wore on, Osterman's grasp on his humanity had slipped farther and farther away, and Dr. Manhattan's slipping grasp of humanity draws him farther and farther away from the relationship with his girlfriend, Silk Spectre driving her away and into the arms of Night Owl, the former gadget-wielding hero of the night. After Dr. Manhattan brushes off Rorschach's warning, public accusations against Dr. Manhattan that he was the cause of cancer and his friends and colleagues begin to arise. After these accusations, Dr. Manhattan decides to exile himself to Mars, sending the world's governments into turmoil when the United States' superpower weapon is no longer in play. An attempt on Ozymandias' life seems to confirm Rorschach's paranoia that this isn't far-fetched. Another hero is taken off the board when Rorschach is framed for murder while investigating the accusations against Dr. Manhattan. While we've lost the comedian Rorschach and Dr. Manhattan, the relationship between Night Owl and Silk Spectre is growing stronger, and they begin their own investigation into Rorschach's theories that someone is removing the heroes from the board. Deciding to free him from the prison themselves, they get to work breaking into the prison. But as this is happening, Silk Spectre is teleported to Mars by Dr. Manhattan, who gives her the impossible task of deciding his future involvement with the human race. Should he be there? Are they worth his time? Are they too petty for him? After the prison break, Night Owl and Rorschach continue the investigation into the death of the comedian and the accusations against Dr. Manhattan causing cancer in his friends and family. Finding proof that Ozymandias, known as the smartest man on Earth, might in fact be involved in this entire ordeal. Taking Night Owl's ship to Antarctica to confront Ozymandias, it is there that Ozymandias reveals his master plan. Humanity is on the brink of destruction, marching towards the horrors of nuclear war. The only thing that can bring the humans together is a common enemy. To that end, Ozymandias has constructed a fake alien invasion of New York, killing hundreds of thousands. He murdered the comedian, set the world against Dr. Manhattan, and framed Rorschach to take all of the heroes who could stop him off of the playing field. Yet, Rorschach and Night Owl are here. They are heroes, and they will not let Ozymandias do this. Yet he tells them, it is already done. Dr. Manhattan and Silk Spectre return to Earth to discover the death and the destruction of New York with a giant alien corpse in the center of the city. They teleport to Antarctica to confront Ozymandias themselves, and it is there that they discover that he was a right. Broadcasts from all over the world show that mankind has finally come together based on the supposed alien invasion. The heroes begrudgingly agree and Ozymandias was correct. But uncompromising, Rorschach refuses to keep the secrets of this ordeal. He insists that he will go out and tell the world the truth of the alien invasion. Yet, he is met by Dr. Manhattan. The heroes have all agreed that this needs to remain quiet. That Ozymandias' plans can never be revealed to the world. It'll break the United Worlds. And Rorschach explains to Dr. Manhattan, Never compromise. You're gonna have to kill me to stop me! Do it! And Dr. Manhattan agrees. Returning to Ozymandias, the world's most brilliant man asks if he did the right thing in the end. Never ever ends. Is his only reply. 
and Dr. Manhattan disappears, leaving the Earth to start life somewhere else. Night Owl and Spectre go into hiding, and the worlds continues to come together. They begin to combine their forces, and the Earth is now a different place. And there you have it, a synopsis of what happened in The Watchmen. Now, I hope you enjoyed, and like I said, I don't feel we did it justice. I do think you need to read this one yourself. But if you want to find out what's going on in Doomsday Clock and what is happening with DC Rebirth, then subscribe to the channel as we will be bringing you the news and information as it is happening. Thank you guys for joining us today. And don't forget to click right over here to get more DC Rebirth stuff. And you can click right over here to get more Before Watchmen so you can further understand that universe. Have a good night.